Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today we're going to be learning um, some acrylic painting using the henna technique. Now this was taught to us by Joyful about a year ago from Joyful's Bespoke Candles. Um, if you were lucky enough to be in that class then you will have seen her amazing different henna designs and patterns. Um, so this is a really simple craft and all you need to do it is some acrylic paint, something slightly heavier is better than anything too thin, some cellophane, now this isn't just like cling film, it's um, a bit thicker and it's got a heavier weight to it. So you might have seen it if you've ever bought gifts or on hampers and things, it's that kind of stuff that sometimes florists use. And it's just for making your cones. Um, you'll need some sellotape with that as well. And then you want something to paint on too. So here I've just done some little canvases, um, which are really cute, but you can do this on anything really. It's really useful to use as little accents on things. So all I'm going to use is I've pre-made some cones. I've done two colours to give contrast for the background and then the patterns I'm going on the top, but you could use more than that. A little canvas. I've drawn out some patterns here. So what you want to do really is either you could just go without a pattern. This one I just started from the middle and built out, um, a bit like doodling, or you could draw out a really simple picture and then fill in the details as you go. And then what you'll want is a paintbrush, uh, a little jar of water just to clean it, and some scissors to get your cone going. Okay, let's get started. So what I've done is I've made up two of these little cones. And like I said earlier, you just want some cellophane um, that you're gonna wrap into a cone and tape together and then tape the end up. Then when you're ready to start working, you can just very gently snip the end of your cone. It's better to start small, test it, and then see if you can get a nice fine line. Now these ones I've actually used earlier, so I'm just gonna squeeze out some of that old dry paint. I'll put them there and then check. So I've got a nice fine line. Now if you wanted to, if it was too thin, you could just trim off a little bit more. If you've cut too much off by accident, just tape over that, seal it and then recut it and you'll get a fine line. But what we're going to do next is paint the background. Now normally I go for dark backgrounds and light details, but with this one I'm going to go with a lighter one. So I'm just going to squeeze on some of my paint and this is a really good opportunity for you to practice your lines practice dots because we're going to paint it all out anyway so once you've got a good amount you would just brush that out and cover the whole canvas with paint so you can see you need a fair amount to cover the back and normally you want to do at least two layers of this so paint one out let it dry and do a second layer um, with thinner colours um, or thinner paints, you might want to do a third. And just brush it till you've got a nice coverage. So here's one I painted earlier. And I did two coats um, and just touched up. You could see you could probably do a third if you wanted. And then I've just sketched, and I don't know if you can see this, the rough outline of the image I'm going to do. Um, if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to sketch onto it, you could just do it freehand. So this one I just started from the centre and built out and I could continue going if I wanted. But for this one I'm going to use my other colour. Pinch out the black. So you can test it on a bit of paper if you want. Okay. And then I'm going to get started on my outer lines. So you want to kind of hold the cone in your hand bit similar to a pencil or paintbrush with your thumb just applying pressure here and then just gently squeeze. Now if you make a mistake, let's say I accidentally put a bit there, you could just get a clean paintbrush and if you just wet your brush a little bit and then wipe it off, you can wipe that off. And just keep cleaning it and wiping it off or get a bit of tissue and if you need to if you happen to have wiped off any of the background you could touch that up with a bit of gold 
I find it really useful to turn my work as I go. So apologies if you can't see every single bit. And you want to try not to drag your piece. You don't want to just sort of push it along because otherwise it smushes the paint out. You want to try and not quite hover, but just touch the surface and let the paint do the work. 